it's way different now than it was just even 24 hours ago. I mean, yesterday Mount Charleston was packed. There was a ton of people up here from the valley trying to escape the heat and get up here and enjoy the outdoors. But things took a terrifying turn when, within a few hours, thousands of acres of wilderness turned to ash and began falling from the sky. I talked to someone who lives up here full time about what the last day and a half has been like living up here. It's been pretty crazy. Uh, you know, there was a fire that started over in Kyle Canyon yesterday, and they were able to take care of that one and put it out pretty quickly. Um, but it wasn't long after that we learned about the uh, fire in Mahogany Grove. All of these fires that we're having are kind of emblematic of, of what conditions we have out here on the mountain right now. It got out of control really quick with the winds that were so, so fast yesterday. Jimmy Alderson's one of the few people who lives on Mount Charleston full time. As you heard him say, the mahogany fire wasn't the first one he'd seen even that day, but the others didn't scorch thousands of acres in a single afternoon. We were very concerned. You know, now we just see this steam that's rising from how they've put it out. But yesterday, you could not see the mountain from here. Uh, the smoke, because of the way the winds were going, it was just so high. There was ash falling on us right here, um, and, and we couldn't we couldn't see across. It was it was apocalyptic. As hikers and camp Campers funneled out of Kyle Canyon, law enforcement began going through residential areas in Lee Canyon, where things were even worse, telling people to evacuate on loudspeaker. Well, you know, this is really kind of a retreat for us up here, and we never thought we'd have to retreat from our retreat. Uh, we had the police officers coming through with a loudspeaker. Uh, you know, your adrenaline's rushing. You're thinking of what you need to just grab and go. You start to think about the possibility of your home being engulfed in flames, and you have to decide and prioritize what you want to take with you. Uh, are you coming back? You don't know. Those residents were eventually allowed back up to their homes in Lee Canyon. Some of the BLM firefighters, I'm told, were even sleeping on the couches and on the floor of some of the people living up in the canyon so they could jump right into the fight uh, today again. Regarding Jimmy Alderson, he says he does feel a lot better about things today, but also added he's not quite ready to unpack that truck just yet, just in case. Live in Kyle Canyon, I'm Christopher Redfern, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.